Biden. Remember before we were looking for just one senator and just one House representative. Now we've got 140 or more. Let me show you this. It's breaking from, of all places, CNN that has to admit it. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I mean, Epic Times and Breitbart don't even have this yet. I don't know why. Maybe because they're celebrating New Year's, as I should be. It says right here. Let me pull it up. At least 140 House Republicans to vote against counting electoral votes. <laughs> Happy New Year. Look at this. And it's by Jake Tapper has to admit it. Jake Tapper. Look what he says. This is amazing. <laughs> After admitting that there's 140 at least and growing, <laughs> what does he call it here? He says, there have been no credible allegations of any issues with voting that have impacted the election, as affirmed by dozens of judges. Who's he kidding? Governors, election officials, the Democratic, I mean, the Electoral College, the Justice Department. The Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. Supreme Court. Give me a break. This, on technical matters, the Supreme Court turned things on. He's twisting the truth here. Let's get a picture of Jake here. Hey, Jake, baby. You can't deny you wrote this. By Jake Tapper, anchor in chief, Washington correspondent. They talk about baseless. I mean, how big does this have to be before they admit that there's actually one person really going to object? <laughs> now, he says... Both a House member and a senator are required to mount an objection when Congress counts the votes. Republican Josh, um, Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri said Wednesday he'll object. They make it look like there's just one, which will be a force of lawmakers in the House and the Senate to vote on whether to accept the results of Biden's victory. Okay, so it goes down here. Among the more than one dozen Republican House members who have already publicly said they'll vote against counting the electoral votes next week are Republican, well, we knew this one, Republican Mo Brooks of Alabama. But they're acting like it's just one person, Mo Brooks, in the House, and one senator, Josh Hawley. He said he's spearheading the effort. Um, and they do say that maybe Jody Rice of Georgia and Jeff uh, Drew and, and, and John Wilson of South Carolina. So... Let me see here. Yeah, they added them in. It says, this story has been updated with additional information. Now, look all these people who had to sign on to this. All these people contributed to this. They, this ruined their New Year's, man. Uh, let's look at the top again here. 140, at least 140 House Republicans to vote against counting. You, you see what's happened here? I'll tell you what's happened here. This article was written by different people in different stages. At the very end, they had to say the 140. But if you go to the very bottom, after they're saying one person, Josh Hawley, and one or two or three of the House members, they basically say it's been updated. So it's a, it's a, it's a patchwork quilt. It's a hodgepodge. It says it's been updated with additional information. That's all they say. But the contributors, uh, CNN's Devin Cole, Nikki Robertson, Jeremy Herb, Phil Mattingly and, and Lauren Fox contributed to this report. I am telling you right now, as surely as it's still 2020, because it's 1030 right now here in Eastern time, I've got an hour and a half of this year, as surely as I'm sitting here, we have a shot. We have a great shot. We are talking about a, a lawsuit also. I don't know if you follow this or not. There is a lawsuit filed against Mike Pence. I have to explain it. It's counterintuitive. There's a lawsuit filed against Mike Pence, you know, suing him to have the authority to make the decision on electoral slates. So he's going through the motion now and saying, oh, no, don't accept this suit. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's playing the nice guy. And he's got a he's got a, a flight out of town the next day to get out of Dodge, man. Because if he steps down and lets the president pro tem do this in the Senate instead of him, the president pro tem could go in there and say, OK, we're accepting the Trump slate and not the uh, Biden slate. And then, and then and then Mike Pence, mild mannered Mike Pence, heads out of town and, and for his predetermined election, uh, uh, post-election uh, deliberation vacation. 
This You can't make this stuff up. CNN, for those of you who just tuned in, CNN is admitting now. Let's look at it. They are admitting that there's at least, let's, I got to see this again. What a New Year's gift. At least 140 House Republicans to vote against counting electoral votes. <laughs> that, I mean, you know what that's saying? We have the objection in the Senate. We have the objection in the House. Well, 140 times. That means that each one of these people could deliberate for two hours in the House, two hours in the Senate. There's four hours on each elector. There's 435 electors. Do the math, man. I know it's a minute and a half. Well, I mean, not a minute and a half, an hour and a half until midnight. But math will not have changed from 2020 to 2021. In six days, well, five days and an hour and a half, <laughs> they're going to have to do the math here and multiply. This is cool. Multiply four hours of debate times 435 uh, uh, members of the House. And that takes us past January 20th. You know, even if you do 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and there's one thing they can't do. They can't change time. They, they may think they could change things. I mean, who knows what arrogance these liberal cultural markers have, but they can't change time. So we are riding out the clock here. And unless... Mike Pence literally defects. That's the only weak sister here, potentially. Unless Mike Pence literally defects, you know, something like that, then we got it. Then Trump wins. And, and I've been saying this consistently, and I will continue saying it. Trump wins, Trump wins, Trump wins. Okay, YouTube, you want to take this down? Trump wins, Trump wins, Trump wins. Okay, Facebook, you want to take it down? Trump wins, Trump wins, Trump wins. Okay, Rumble and uh, Parler, you'll keep it up? Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. You're more conservative. That's it. So happy new year, everybody. And <laughs> one last look at the screen before we go. This is CNN and Jake Tapper having to admit it. I'm sure that picture was taken before he wrote this article because he's smiling. At least 140 House Republicans to vote against counting electoral votes, two GOP lawmakers say. So we'll leave it at that. I see we got a bigger crowd than ever. My, my numbers are growing, but no sense keep you longer than necessary. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching Special Ops with Jerry McLaughlin in a very informal setting tonight. Happy New Year!